Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 2! Since last time, I set up my party as I have, well, as I had it before, made it back to the Elder Tree so we can get back into the Dream World now that we've got our new spells. Now, if you recall, there was some NPCs who were saying that there's only supposed to be two towns, and the tower could be seen from that lake up there. Wherever can it be? Well, if you go back into the first town... Ha-ha! Oh, yeah, I was wondering what's with that circle. Kind of reminded me of Soul Blazer a little bit there. Oh, okay. So I guess we're farsighted for some reason? Okay, whatever works. Let's take a look around. And find a new enemy here. Okay, Rapid Hunter. These guys are weak to wind. You don't need Shirako to deal with them in one round, but I'm going to do it anyway, just to show it off. And Bosch has his mood stat high enough to be able to cast it. Unfortunately, Aspara does not, but once I fight enough battles, Aspara will be able to do that too. But yeah, these guys are really fast. They could potentially use Fire Breath on you. Holy crap, look at that damage. <laughs> yeah, it is the ultimate wind spell in the game there. But it, yeah, as you can see, yeah, we really didn't need that much damage there. But that's okay. Yeah, let's heal up after that one. And see if we can find a way to get to those stairs in the middle there. Hmm. Maybe there's a secret passage. Or maybe we got new enemies. Okay, Power Eaters. These were some of the guys that I was worried about. Well, not so much worried about, but I wanted to make sure that I'm going to be faster than these guys. These guys have 72 agility, so I want to make sure that the relevant characters in my party have 79 agility or more, so that way I can guarantee that I'll outspeed them. All right, took care of them easily enough. This dungeon is where Sten is really going to shine. He has quite a few uses in this dungeon. So what you need to do in order to progress here is talk to this guy. He'll take you to the central staircase, but I don't want to go there just yet. If you pay him another hundred zenny, now don't press the A button. Because if you talk to him a third time, he'll warp you out of the dungeon completely without having a chance to say no. But here we get an auto bow. It's kind of like the twin bow for Bosch, except it hits all enemies at once instead of two attacks in a single round. I generally like the twin bow better, but the auto bow is decent too. I may think about using it, but we'll see. And we get the Earth Armor, which is just a little stronger for Ryu, but it weighs a bit more, too. I think I like the Earth Armor just a little better. It also has resistance to Thunder, Elemental Attacks, and those are some of the more damaging ones, like Bolt X. I think they call it Valhalla in this translation, if I recall correctly. But now we're trapped in this room. Whatever shall we do? Well, if you talk to him the third time, yeah, you don't have a choice. You get out of there. Let's get back in. Now we need to get to that center staircase again. And fight another couple new enemies. Lord Slug. So sounds like a Dragon Ball Z reference. It is! Okay, let's see. So these guys are also weak to fire. I think I should be able to kill them with just the one fire blast. I mean, I should be able to kill them with follow-up damage from the others. But I should be able to take these guys out. Yeah, Bosh will definitely finish them off. Yeah, look at that damage we get out of Sten there. And Bosh, of course. Let's see, those guys could cast Lightning or Jolt on your party. So, that's why you want to take them out quickly there like that. If I wanted to play it really conservative, I could have had Bosh also join in with Fire Blast. But I'm usually able to kill both of them with Bosh and Sten before they can get one of their Lightning spells off. 
Now, let's see. There's a staircase in the middle here. Just take my word for it. We could talk to that old guy, but I don't want to do that yet. If you do, he can warp you up two floors. And I don't want to do that yet. I want to get some treasure here. I think that's a status boosting item, if I recall correctly. By the way, uh, those power eaters, one thing about them also is that they can potentially drop coins or gold, depending on your translation, for unlocking those manila shops. So this could be a good place to farm them if you like. Hey, a wisdom boost. You know, I'm going to give that to Aspara just because she has really good wisdom to begin with and she could get more of a benefit out of it. I'd like to make her practically immune to statuses without the aid of some equipment there. So, yeah, she's doing really nice there. All right, let's get back downstairs then. Okay, and there's the last new enemy. Army men. These guys are really fast, but I have Sten just fast enough to guarantee that he'll take his turn before they do. So that way, he can use Slice on them. They have really high defense and fairly high agility. And they're immune to magic. Except for Slice, of course, because that ignores defense. So, it's pretty nice. Sten can take one of them out before they can do too much damage to us. They don't have very much HP, either. Yeah, this is one reason why I like giving Slice to Sten. So that way he can deal with these small, fast enemies before they can become a problem. So yeah, Sten is really, really nice to have in this dungeon. You could also bring Lin if you want, because a couple of the enemies are weak to fire. But we've already got a few party members who can do that anyway. So I don't think we really need that. But I do need to heal up a little bit after that. Okay, let's see. That is all the new enemies. Now, there are some stairs in the upper left corner where that would take you to the next floor. But it's just faster to go over here and talk to this guy to warp up there because there's a bit of a maze to get through the middle of the pet floor there. I haven't brought you anywhere. You were the one doing all the magic. This floor is identical to the previous one there. I guess the idea was to confuse you into thinking that he teleported you nowhere and it didn't work or something. Yeah, this floor is a real maze to get through. Holy cow. And the encounter rate doesn't help much here either. Yeah, we got an obscenely high counter rate he encounter rate here again. Another courage belt. I'll probably just sell it for some money. We're gonna need a lot of money coming up for a Manila shop. You know the one. And yeah, one thing I was thinking about with the auto bow for Bosch there, he has a fusion transformation later on in the game that gives him the ability to hit all enemies anyway. So you don't really need the auto bow. I'll hold on to it for now, but eventually I won't need it anymore. We don't get access to it until way later in the game though. We've still got a long way to go. Well, maybe not a long way, but we're not we're over halfway, I'd say. We're not that close to the end, but you know what I mean. Hey, game. Go up. There you go. Hey, how's it going? Ah. Okay. Nuts. Maybe this other guy remembers something useful. How's it going? Ah, okay, never mind then. You're all useless to me. Okay, before proceeding upward here, let's change up our setup here. Let's see, alloy sword is good. Let's go with the stronger life armor since I'm not really worried about speed coming up here. Let's see, okay, you got that and a circlet. Let's go with a dream jewel because we're gonna have to deal with the sleep status here. Let's see, I'll stick with the equipment that I've got here. Yeah, that ought to be good, but let's change this up a little bit too. Sten, I think is mostly the same. Yeah, just give him the same accessories. And Aspara, I think, is the same too, except I want to guarantee 
that she can't get put to sleep. So let's go with another Dream Jewel, even though she's getting close to maximum wisdom there. Okay, so let's have you heal up there. Let's see, I don't need MP for Sten, so yeah, I think we're good to go. Let's uh, make a back up here and press onward. And now I can see clearly. Hey, all right. Are you with the other old guys? Oh, what do you mean? Nuts. What do you mean? What are you talking about? Oh. Oh. Well, that would explain a bit. I don't know why that's so special to you, but I'm glad I have the chance to get my revenge. Another demon in a dream world? How about I erase you instead? For boss time against Alzheimer. Uh, okay. Well, first things first, as usual, let's get a good dragon spell going. He is pretty much immune to any status ailment, so there's not a whole lot we can do with that. But as usual, let's get the ginsengs up there. I don't think Aspara needs it, even though she's not really going to be that useful for this fight, but that's okay. Thank you for spending your turn healing yourself instead of doing something useful. He can potentially use Sweet Breath on your party, as well as Poison Breath, but I can't do anything about the poison. He also has a unique ability. I think it's... I know in the official translation it's called Amnesia. I forget what they call it here. It's kind of a weird ability that makes you temporarily forget some of the more recent spells that you've learned. So it'll take away some spells from your spell list until the end of the battle, and then you're all good. And then, let's see, Aspara. Hmm. Probably just go with Fire Blast. Yeah, that's probably the best way to go. Ah, here it is! Okay, it doesn't really have a name, then it's just the battle quote there. I think I'll lose Fire Blast for Aspara. I wonder what happens if I forget a spell that I've already queued up. Oh, please don't kill him. Okay. Hey, it still works! Even though I forgot how to cast it. What is this, zombie undead dragoon mog or something? No. No, that's another game, viewers. But it just kind of reminded me of that. No. Ha ha. Nuts. Well, at least I got my revenge. Now, if you go back and talk to the old guys, they can actually tell you some stuff. But the Elder Tree is going to tell it to us anyway. So we might as well just warp out of here, save the time. And yeah, I need to get to the last town uh, on the north side. So I'll just meet you over there then. Okay, we're back at the third town that we went to. So, yeah, I think the only way we can get out of here is, well, just talk to this guy. We get out of there. Let's see if the Elder Tree can help us out now that we've, well, restored what little memory he had left. Oh, okay. Well, can you tell us anything useful? So... Yeah, what's going on at Gate? Oh. Well, yeah, I kind of figured that out for myself. Well, yeah, I would think that's pretty obvious. Oh, really? Who are you talking about? That's it? I've gone through five dungeons! Restore some of your memory. And the best thing you can do for us is say, Go South. 
That's it! Yep, pretty much. We got the whale and a flute and a pillow, all to get a tree to tell us go south. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it there, viewers. I don't think illimitable is a real word. Don't you mean unlimited? Hmm, if only. Not that knowing the guy's name would have been useful. I mean, why don't we just call him, yeah, Dark God or something. Hmm, I wonder what he's talking about there. Do you know about any legendary items or some really powerful magic or anything remotely useful? Well, I suppose he did give us, uh, what was that, Shirako, so that can help a bit. Nuts. Okay, well then, let's go south. Let's see, how are we doing here? Yeah, we're doing fine. I don't need to change my setup yet. But I would like to get through this next part real quick. And let's see what we got over here. Yeah, might as well just leave Spar in the lead. She makes a good tank anyway. And let's see what we got here in the Mist Valley. Do they want me to stay away from the summoner here? Nah. But there's not a whole lot I could do here anyway. Oh, okay. Hmm. I wonder what that's all about. Where is this Heaven Tower anyway? Find out next time on Let's Play Breath of Fire 2! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!